We talked about function types in our last lecture and we learned that to a variable we can assign a function and to specify which type of function we can assign to it we can use function type. For example here we have created a variable called add numbers and in this variable we want to assign a function which takes two number parameters and which returns a numeric value. So here to this add numbers we can assign this sum function because this sum function also takes two number parameters and it is going to return a number value. So to this add number if I try to assign sum we will not get any error. So it works. But if we try to assign this add function to this add numbers this add function it is taking two number parameters but here the return type for this function is void. So the signature of this add function does not match the signature of add numbers variable. So for this add numbers variable we are expecting any function which takes two number parameters and which returns a numeric value. Here the add function takes two number parameters but it is not returning a numeric value. Its return type is void. So to this add numbers if we try to assign add function we have an error here. Okay. So if I hover over this error, it says type, this type is not assignable to this type. So using function type, we specify what type of function we want to assign to a variable. Now we can also specify a function type for a callback function. Let's understand that with an example. So let me go ahead and let me comment this code. And now I'm going to create a function. Let's call this function print. And this function is going to take two number parameters. Let's call it num1 of type number and num2 of type number. And then it is also going to take a third parameter called print. Now here I'm not specifying the type of this print parameter. So by default, its type will be any. That means any value we can assign to this print parameter. Here we can assign a string value, a numeric value, a function, an object, an array, anything. Okay, now inside this function, what we are going to do is, we are going to calculate the result, the result of num1 plus num2. And then what we want is, let's say, for this print parameter, we are expecting a function. And to that function, we need to pass the message which we want to print, and also the result of num1 and num2. So here I'm going to call this print as a function, this print parameter as a function. And here I'm going to pass the message as sum equals. And then I'm also going to pass this result. Okay, so basically what we are expecting here is that for this print, we are going to receive a function which is going to take two parameters. The first parameter is of type string and the second parameter is of type number. And let me also go ahead and let me create that function. Let me call this function display. It is going to take one string variable. So let's simply call it as message maybe. Of type string. And result of type number. And what this function is going to do is it is simply going to log a message in the console. So here we will say msg. So whatever message we are going to receive for this message parameter, we want to display that. And then to that, we also want to append the result value. Like this. Okay, so what we want is, once we have calculated the result, we want to call this display function. So we want to pass this display function. We want to assign this display function to this print parameter. So that when this print parameter will be called, it will internally call this display function. Now currently since we have not specified any type for this print we can pass any value to this print but what we want is to this print we only want to assign a function and that function should take one string parameter so let me create a variable here str its type should be string and let's also specify another parameter n and its type should be number and here the return type is going to be void that means 
the function which we are going to receive for this print parameter it should not return any value and this display function satisfies that condition if you see it is taking a string parameter and a number parameter so the first parameter is string and the second parameter is number and its return type is void so this signature matches the type which we are specifying for this print so to this print we can assign this display function so what i'm going to do is i'm going to call this print function and actually let's rename this function to something else let's call it maybe get result okay just to give it a meaningful name and let's call that get result function so this get result function is expecting first parameter as number let's pass 12 second parameter should also be a numeric value let's pass 13 and third parameter should be a function which takes a string parameter and a number parameter in its argument and its return type should be void so for that we can simply pass this display function because the signature of this display function matches the signature of this print parameter which it is expecting and now if we save the changes here let me open built-in terminal and here let's select command prompt let's clear everything and let's go ahead and let's compile this app.ts file for that we need to type tsc space app.ts so as you can see the application this app.ts file has been compiled and you see the result is sum equal to 25 so for the message we pass this value sum equal to that you can see here and then to that we are appending the result of the sum of 12 and 13 which will be 25 if we try to pass some other value for this print for example maybe 100 we will get an error if i try to pass a string value in that case also we are receiving this error and also if we try to pass any function which does not match the signature of this print function the print parameter in that case also we will receive an error okay so now i hope you understand how we can specify the type for a function parameter which we want to use as a callback function so everything is working as expected this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day